Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in this quick tip, we're going to learn how to create a watermark in Lightroom. Underneath the Lightroom menu, I'll choose Edit Watermarks, and you'll notice that there are two different watermark styles, a text style and a graphic style. Now, the text style is very easy. All we need to do is type in whatever it is we want. So let's say I want to put in Photography by Julianne Cost. I have different options for the text, including the font and the style, alignment. I can even change the color if I want to. If we scoot down, you'll notice that I can add a drop shadow, and we can actually see that drop shadow previewed here in the preview area. I can lower the opacity if I want to see through to the image underneath, and I can choose how I want this to fit. So right now it's proportional. I could also choose fit if I want it to fit within the image. And the great thing about creating a watermark in Lightroom is that when you create it here, it really doesn't matter what size image you're going to output, it will adapt to the pixel dimensions or the width, height, and resolution. I'll go ahead and use proportional for now and I want to just give it a little bit of an inset both horizontally and vertically. It just lifts it from the bottom corner of the image. I could also choose where I want to anchor this and if I wanted to get fancy, I could even rotate it if I wanted to. But for now, let's go ahead and just anchor it in the lower left like this. Once I've got this set up, then I would choose custom and save this as a new preset. In this case, I'm gonna put photography by Julianne Cost, so I know what it is, and then click Create. Once I've created it here, it then becomes accessible in many of the different output modules and the export. If I want to choose a graphic instead, then I'll use the graphic button right here and it asks me to locate a file. But before we locate a file, let's scoot over to Photoshop for a moment because here I have my signature on a white piece of paper. But what would be really great is if I could somehow remove the signature from the paper and create transparency. So what I'll do is I'll convert the background into a layer by clicking on the lock icon and then I'll use the effects icon in order to access my blending options. And down here in the blend if sliders, I'm going to scoot the right triangle here and you'll notice in my image area that it's becoming transparent. So it's actually knocking out all of the white values. Now it might be a little rough in areas, so I'm gonna hold down the Option key or the Alt key on Windows and just separate the sliders here so that there's a nice transition between the black area that it's keeping. You can see here the text, all of this black area it's keeping, and then when it reaches this level of gray, it slowly starts fading that to transparency. All right, so once you have the logo that you want in Photoshop, all we need to do is save this as a PNG file. So I'm gonna switch from Photoshop to PNG, and what that does is it enables me to capture that transparency throughout the different Lightroom modules. So as a PNG, I'll click Save and then OK. Then we'll scoot back over to Lightroom, and I'm going to choose this transparent signature.png. You can see here, it's down in the lower left-hand corner. I'll make it a little bit larger just to make sure that we can see it, but that is the signature and we can see that it is transparent. So if I wanted to save this, all I need to do is come up here to save the current settings as the new preset. I'll call this signature and then click create. So I actually have three here. I have the photography one that we just did, the text, and I also have a second text that just adds a little proof. All right, so I'm finished here. We'll click done, and then I'll just quickly show you if I move over to the slideshow module and we're in the overlays area, this is where I could enable watermarking and then select the watermark that I want to add. In the print module, it's actually under the page settings here. I would turn on watermarking and let's go ahead and select two images there and then we'll change this to the photography watermark again. You can see it's on both images here. And then if we move over to the web gallery, it's in the output settings. This is where I would enable my watermarking and let's change that again to the photography by. 
Finally, if I go back to the library module, you can see here when I click on export down at the bottom, here's my option to watermark my images and I'll go ahead and select that watermark again. And once I export those files, we would see that watermark. So there you have it, an easy way to create either a text or a graphical watermark in Lightroom. My name is Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.